How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out our latest build showcase of this 2020 Chevy Silverado for the Plainfield Fire Department. What we're taking a look at today is this 2020 Chevy Silverado 1500 five and a half foot bed for the Plainfield, New Jersey Fire Department. Uh, the vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint, electrical system with the OBD2 reader. Uh, taking a look up top, we've got a 54 inch Enforce light bar. It is in dual color. On the front grille, we have sound off signal, four inch M powers. Uh, we have a headlight flasher that's currently on Park Kill. On the sides, in the front and the rear, we have three inch sound off signal M powers. Take a look at the back, we have the three inch sound off signal M power to match the front. We've got a Kuzmol auto eject that's tied into a Xantrex uh, inverter charger so they can have 110 power when they are uh, on a scene or they can have 110 power when they're in the station. Um, on, we have the ARE cap that we installed. Uh, we've got a pin switch on the side that helps turn on the uh, interior bed lighting. Taking a look at the back cap, we have a sound off signal eight head N4 stick that is in tricolor. It has amber arrow, white override for rear scene. We have LED replacement bulbs in the reverse lights. And then we have three inch sound off signal M powers down at the bottom. So taking a look at the passenger side, um, they elected to have toolboxes only on the one side. So we have a large open compartment with 110 power in the corner. Uh, this also has its own individual sound off signal strip light on its own pin switch so that this light only turns on and shines here when the this compartment is open and then our 110 powers up in the corner there they're going to be using that for a portable bank charger that they're going to be installing so taking a look at the roof of the vehicle uh, we've installed three motorola apx 8500s in all band configuration so we have our uh, panorama sharky antennas on the roof and then we also installed a go light for them with a remote controlled wireless spotlight so taking a look at at the back of the vehicle with the cap open you can see that we've turned on the additional rear warning lights to help eliminate the, uh, or to give them more rear warning when the hatch is open. Um, you can see we've designed a cabinet specifically for them. Um, we're gonna pull that out in a second, but you can see we've got our radio face plates and our speakers up top. So taking a look at the cabinet with it extended, you can see it's a little different than what's normally done. Uh, we needed to add file drawers onto the cabinet. So this is designed for their, their case commander incident command case. So this will allow it to pull out and then the hatch will flip open and they can use it in the back of the vehicle. And then we gave them an additional whiteboard surface here along with two radios. We've got a 12 volt USB and then we have controls to override the scene lights and the rear warning lights. Uh, we've got a compartment open here for any type of storage, our radio heads. Uh, we have our speakers for these radios mounted there. And we also have a 110 outlet mounted up there. So on the side, uh, each side we have file drawers installed and what we did was for space we fabricated them out of aluminum and then our file drawers are rotated 90 degrees so that they can still fit in the drawer and then what we did was we maximized it so this cabinet's actually full width to the bed and it's t-shaped around the wheel well taking a look at the other side we have another spot to work from incident command so the, the point of this cabinet was to allow them to use three sides of the cabinet to run different operations so they have another radio here with the uh, speaker mounted here got a parts drawer and then we have a ratcheting magnetic command board that they can lift up they can write on they can use the radio they've got pen storage this side uh, we've got the center seat removed but we're going to be installing SCBA brackets for them along with a flashlight when they come to pick up the vehicle uh, what we have over here is a drawer that was specifically made to fit their maps so the drawer takes up the whole side from left to right and they have plenty of room to store all the maps that they may need so taking a look at the passenger side of the cabinet we have a, a fixed whiteboard and then we have our hint mount laptop mount so what this does is it allows them to articulate this anywhere it needs to be so somebody could be here working with that radio using this whiteboard or if you're operating from the front you can use the laptop up this way it's a very nice mount very sturdy mounts up and out of the way you can articulate at different angles and then you just simply need to lock it in place 
and you're set. <clears throat> And then on this side, uh, the leftover space from where the map drawer had to be um, is the shelf for the adjustable shelf. So we're taking a look at underneath the second row seat where our electronics distribution is. Uh, you can see we have our Xantrex uh, inverter charger, so that'll charge the batteries when the shoreline's plugged in, and then it will energize the outlets that are inside the vehicle. Um, we've got room for all of our radio chassis along with our blueprint central controller. So what this does is we bring our main power into here and then we distribute everything out from there, which allows for very easy serviceability in the vehicle. Um, you can see we made some custom brackets for the radios, but our electronics compartment has plenty of room if they ever need to expand into it. So what we're looking at is the front console that we designed for the vehicle. Um, this is one of our standard designs with a, a map pocket on the back. Uh, we mounted two of the speakers on this side, the other speaker for the other radio is on that side. So up top we have our inverter control, so when you power this up where the shoreline's plugged in it'll give you a readout. We have 12 volt USB, we've got our blueprint controller. Um, the blueprint controller's got a left, right, center alley, take down, left alley, right alley, uh, a rear scene, cruise, dim, and then we have our slide switch with our horn buttons. Uh, we've got 305 head radios cut in, and then we have one of our uh, custom cup holders with pen storage inside of it, and then our big map pocket on the back with mag bikes that we'll be installing for them later. Uh, also, we have our hint mount laptop mount that's mounted, so that's mounted directly to our console. There's no need to mount to the floor plate with it, and it's mounted to our console, and it's very sturdy, so it helps with having a second passenger in there. They don't have the traditional floor plate in their way. Thanks for checking out our video today. We hope the Plainfield Fire Department enjoys their new vehicle. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we're happy to answer any questions you may have. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out our next week's Build Showcase.